Ladies and gents, this improv story is based on an ideal. A man gets locked in a shop after closing. Well, the story commence. There's a... Um, there's a shop. And it's one of these shops that's got everything. An emporium or hardware shop, whatever you want to call it. One of the ones that's got the fucking lot. One of the ones you can go in. No curiosity shop. I mean, like one of the shops you go in. And you go, have you got a, um, a clothes pole? Yeah. Have you got a door stop? Yeah. I don't want to just get that for you. You don't have a. You don't have the, you know, the wee hooks, you know, you kind of screw in there, thingy, yeah. Have you got any soil? Yeah. Have you got a plug? Yeah. Have you got the wee thing that screws onto that other thing? No, that kind of thing, but that other kind of thing. Is this here? No. That there? That's it. One of the ones. And this this guy that goes in, quite a big place. This is a quite a quite a big place. Um, but it's lo local local run. It's not like a big fucking B and Q type of thing. I'm talking about one of these wee ones. But it's big wee. It's wee big. And this guy goes in. This guy's called Craig. And uh, he goes in and. He's ready to ask the, sh the, the shopkeeper. We're in a shop again. He's ready to ask the, sh the shopkeeper. Excuse me. Excuse me. And he he does actually happen to be looking for the wee, you know, the wee hook things that you screw in, like wood. Because <laughs> he's wanting to do that and hang some utensils on it. Wants to do that. Um, he's got, you know, he's got this bit of wood. That's, it's it's, it's kind of like, it's almost like a scotland board, but he's got it vertical in his kitchen. It was there in the house when he moved in. So he's thought, I could do that there, and I could hang that, do that there, and I could hang my this, do that there, and I could hang my, my that. Um, he might create a bit of space. He's ready to ask the the guy behind the counter, the guy doesn't he, the guy's busy with somebody. And it was the end, it was the end of the day, right, and he's like, better hurry up, better hurry up. Doesn't want to wait, he's like ready to wait in a wee queue. And he's like, fuck. It's like five o'clock, it's, it's head outside. He shots at five. So he's like, oh, fuck. He went in, he's waiting for the guy to go like, uh-huh, uh, uh, see me. So the sub, we're just closing. He's waiting for that, but the guy didn't say anything. So he didn't want to get the guy's attention too much, so he just sort of sneaked past in a way he quickly get these hooks. So he's looking about and he's running the back and he's taking the left and taking the right. It's like a fucking labyrinth, this place. It's like packed. It's packed. And there's there's nowhere where there's just this there's nowhere where it's just space. Everywhere's fucking like <clears throat> trying not to not give it in there. All the things that rotate, all the things that, you know, the things that got sunglasses and all that, you know, these sort of things. Except they've got all sorts of stuff on them. And he's like, um, looking about, looking about, looking about. And at some point he does hear the guy go like, Is there anybody back there? We're closing. And he's thinking, no, I could, I could shout. Aye, aye, sorry, just going to be a minute because he's not found the hooks yet. But the guy could go like, I'm sorry. And it wasn't, it's not exactly an emergency for Craig to get these hooks, but Craig's a sort of cunning, he's a wee bit like me. Well, when he gets an idea in his head, when he goes like, I'm going to get up, get a shower, get my clothes on, and I'm going to step out that door, see if something is in his mind enough that he actually fucking does that goes through that process just to get out of the house which he never likes doing 
he's going to fucking do it and nothing is going to stop him. There's no way he's going through the torture of having to brush his teeth, have a fucking shower, put some fucking clothes on, do his fucking stupid fucking hair and walk out of the house and then no get the thing that he did all that for. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Whether it's important or no, the fact he went through all that fucking rigmarole to get that, get it, makes it an important thing. So he's like, I'm not, I'm not going to shout, I'm not going to shout. Ah, there'll just be a saying, dod on, because the guy like, no, it's no saying, no, you're out. That's how Craig imagined it. Craig was used to cunts sort of saying that to him. He, um, he wasn't so much a doormat and all that, you know, he wasn't like a, um, wasn't used to being abused or anything like that. It's just, he had his things he wanted to get in, you know, his hooks and then people go, the hooks aren't they fucking important? No specifically hooks, but you know, once he got an idea in his mind and somebody went, forget about it, mm -mm, no, 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 no. So he's getting these fucking hooks. So he's looking about, where's the hooks, where's the hooks, where's the hooks, where's the hooks, where's the hooks? He's starting to see lights getting fucking switched off here and there. Not completely. Just somewhere in the shop he saw it get a bit darker. A bit darker. Fuck, the cunt's really shutting up the shop now. But he needed to get these hooks. Took him ten minutes. Because the thing is with these shops, these emporiums, if you go in for hooks, you end up fucking walking out with half the shop. Oh, I well, I'm here, I think I might get some grass seeds. Oh, while, I, while I'm here, I think I, I think I do need one of the wee sort of um, spider, spider um, l ladle things, the sort of fish things out of boiling water that are kind of delicate that you want sort of drain, you know, like, you know, these sort of things. I'll get one of them, I'll get one of them. I maybe will get one of them. He's like, I think I have that. Maybe have that. He got distracted. Anyway, ten minutes later, he's like, right, I better fucking go and face the music here. Hopefully, the guy has not like locked to till or whatever, you, whatever the day. Gets to the front. The guy's not there yet at the till, and he's like, Craig's like this. Hello? 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 He walks to another part of the shop. Hello? Hello? Here. Here. The guy's no fucking left, is he? Hello, has the guy set the alarm? You wouldn't have set that no. No, there'll be a alarm going off. Hello? Sorry. Sorry, I've just got these things. He goes he goes like fuck it. He goes to the door. He goes to the door, he's like he's still got all the stuff. But he's just going to check it, you know, he's just got to check the door. Goes out of the fucking door. It he, he just, he's just like, it's dark outside. Christ, it's dark outside. It's got dark earlier quickly. He notices, it's no dark outside, it's the fucking shuttles. The shuttles are done. He's like, He's ready, he's thinking of phoning the police, he's not got anybody in his life really to phone, you won't believe it, I'm locked in his, I'm locked in his, this shop. He's ready to phone the police, he's like, no, don't, don't, not yet, not yet. And he's looking about and he's like, fuck 
So eventually, he walks about the shop, just to double check. There's a wee bit round the back. There's a wee bit round the back. You know, like, when somebody's folk, you know, somebody's shops, there's a bit round the back that you're not allowed to go. And he's like, Hello? Hello? He's not there, so he's like, I go around, I go around the back to check. He's thinking, Parham's gone like that. Go around the back, a wee door, you know, a wee door that goes around the back. Because there might be a, a way out. There might be a way out. But part of his mind's gone like that. You know why you're going around the back. Because you're nosy. You want to have a wee look. What's around there anyway? But there might be a, you know, you know one of the fire escape doors that's got a kind of bar and you push it and that opens the door and then you shut it out and at the other side that there isn't a, there isn't a handle it just sort of goes the one way that kind of thing sort of one that might set off the alarm and it's like the fucking camera's in here looks a bit there's cameras she's so like I don't know if you can see me or I don't know if you're going to be watching this back but you've locked me in so I'm just going to go around the back to see if there's a way out there because I can't go through the front because you've got the shutters then. I don't know if this is connected to some Google or Amazon technology where you can see me right now but I'm, I'm going to go around the back just to just to let you know that I can see the cameras on me I'm not trying to knock anything. I was just when I was came in for the screws but then I got all this other stuff I'm just going to go around the back. So he starts going, it goes around the back, opens this door, goes through, goes around the back, There's a, there is a door, there is a door, right, you're in that fire exit sort of door and he's like, oh good, but there, is like a kind of, uh, like a box a box where it's kind of it, it's like a kind of um, like the Ark you know Raiders of the Lost Ark it's like kind of Ark sort of thing you know like, like ornate kind of old looking thing about the size here you know that that kind of, that kind of size but that size. No, not so much a crate, but you know, male decorated. Almost looks like, um, you know, like a Japanese, like a Japanese temple or a Chinese kind of temple, you know, the sort of, is that pagoda? I don't know, but you know, that kind of styling. Kind of wavy sort of thing. Pagoda eye. Who's that? What is this? He's just like, just go, just go. So what's this? Go have a wee peek. Any cameras in here? If there's a camera, you won't be able to explain this one. Just gonna have a wee peek into your fucking private property. He's like, doesn't seem to be any cameras in here. <coughs> cameras are like round the front. He used, the guys obviously used them economically. Like, I've got five cameras, where do I put them? No point putting them round the back, because they cannot come round the back. Because I'm round the back. It's round the front where the shoplifters are. They'll never get round the back. So, you know, no cameras there. So, he's like, so he goes like, puts the noise stuff. Craig puts the noise stuff and goes like this. What was it? And in this box, it's like complete darkness. Complete darkness. He's like, yeah. He's like, oh, there's no big shadow in here. Like, he's like, but no, it's all bright. It's all it's lights above. It's a big fucking strip light. It's like. 
try to adjust these eyes completely black no shadows no no nothing you can't even see the inside of the box it's just like it's, it's just like it's fucking space so he's like he's ready to put his fucking horn in because no hold on picks up a wee bit of picks up a one of them like wee drone pin right there's a wee drone pin like this all sorts of stuff lying about and this guy's bit around the back picks up Chucks it in. The thing vanishes into the darkness. He's looking in again like that. Can I see what? So he goes like this, look. Puts his horn in. Puts his horn in. His horn goes into the darkness. He's feeling about. He grabs onto something. Pulls out. It's an umbrella. An umbrella. Puts it to the side. By the way, see this umbrella? The umbrella's that long. The umbrella's the size of that, right? This box is it's a bit is about the height of an umbrella, but the umbrella should have been the way he grabbed it. It, it was down there, he had to go all the way down there. And it no it puts his horn in again. He, he can't quite grab on it. He has to put both horns in. It's a ball. An inflatable, inflatable Wayne's football. You know the kind that's got the sort of the um, pentagons or whatever, just sort of drawn on an in ink. You know, just printed. What? Puts his horn in again. Grabs on his metal wing. So it's this. It's wee, wee bit heavy, but not too heavy. Fucking ladders. Ladders. I mean, like, he's like, you know, pulling the fucking ladders right out. The ladders are about, like, six foot fucking high, and the box is about that height. box is this height. And he thinks to himself, here. That's where these cunts get all their fucking stuff, eh? That's where these cunts get all this fucking stuff, eh? You know how if you ever go into any of these places and you go, have you got this? Have you got that? I just one second. Just one second. And they go away. And then they come, they come back. Oh, and they're the ham to and you're like, fuck me. You still got everything in here. Christ, you still got everything. And all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is where they've been getting the fee. This is where they've been getting it from. So he's like, no way. So he's ready to walk out. He's ready to walk out the back door, right? He's just left all his stuff. He's ready to walk out the back door and he hears this. Coming for the, for the, for the box. Where is my offering? Where is my offering? Is that what? What? Hmm? So he goes back to the box and he, t he takes he takes like the screws and things like that, that he was going to leave behind and he chucks it in. He rings at some sort of like mad fucking thing that grants the stuff. And he knows, he knows as he's chunking the stuff in it, he knows. 
the, the thing we're going to be interested in this because this is probably the stuff that the fucking thing dispenses. It's not just one in the back. The fucking thing isn't it like, here's some screws. What do I, where is my offering? Here's your fucking screws back. It must be someone else who chucks them in anyway. And they get fucking, he waits where he's sitting. They get chucked back out. Where's my offering? If you're longer than the offering, I take an offering I always must take back with me. I and mean, they can't quite make it out, but he gets the gist there. He gets the gist there. You take something out, you got to put fucking something in. And it's something fucking inanimate out for something animate in. An inanimate thing out, fucking living thing back in. He just can just tell. He just knew it was that sort of thing. And he was just thinking to himself, that fucking bastard has been killing people or taking, maybe maybe it's just meat, maybe it's steaks, maybe it's ad- animals, maybe it's rodents, and sticking them in there to get the stuff out. So you know what he does? He goes like, you'll you get it tomorrow. I want to now. He's like, it's either, under, it's either the moral, it's not at all. And we, oh, if you, if you wait. Very well. He waits overnight, right? Waits for a few hours. He goes, fuck this, he just leaves. The next day he comes back. He comes in. And um, he sees the, the guy walking behind the till and the guy walking behind the till is looking at a wee telly screen and he's he can, and Craig can see himself being the, you know the playback of himself you know guys the guy that walks behind the till the guy, the guy that owns the shop is watching um um Craig he was locked in, fucked it, says Jamie full stop. No, there was a fire exit fucking door, remember he was ready to go out. The fire exit, no, he, the fire exit fucking door at the back. He's not listening. At the back bit, there was the fire exit door that I told you about, but he decided no to go fucking through because he wanted to check out the fucking box. Listen, for God's sake, listen, remember. Why did they go back? The offering was their problem. Ryan, I'm fucking continuing to tell the fucking story, idiot. The story's not fucking finished yet. He leaves, he goes back in the next day. Because he's not going to wait all night. He's not going to wait all night for this cunt to come back. Goes back up the road, gets a wee few hours sleep. Comes back in the next day, right? Walks in, there's a guy behind the counter watching the camera playback. You know, he's playing it back. And so Craig can see what the guy's seeing. The guy goes, Liss. Just a minute, sir. Yeah. You? And Craig goes, that I, me. D- d- did you go through the back? I, I did. I did. I, I did. How much did you see? I saw enough. I saw enough. So, so what, 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 what do you want to do with, with the... Yeah. There's some few people queued up and all that. So... Craig goes like that. Aye. Here everybody. Here. And just as a bit, he's, he's about to launch in his kind of speech, there's an old woman who goes like that. He's walking away. She's just been served, right? Even though he's watching the playback, you know, you can serve people at the same time. An old woman goes like, as she's walking away, here, you've got everything in here. I don't know how you do it, you've got everything in here. And Craig goes like, well, well listen, hey, ho, ho. That's what I'm here for, listen to this. Do you want to know? Why not? The shop owner's like, gotta know. No, gotta know, gotta know. Do you want to know how? Do you want to know how? Guy, guys, like, please don't. You don't know what you're. You don't know what you're dealing with here. You don't know what you're dealing with here. Please, mate. You don't know what you're dealing with. 
ये दोनों भैया तेवन में मैं And they all go in the back. They all go in the back, right? And the guy's like, "I'm fucked, but I'm gone. I'm gone. Life. I'm getting life. I'm getting life, man. This is life. Life. This is life imprisonment. This." Craig's like, "Come here, lawyers." Craig just leads the way. Run the back. Get a shot. Goes like, "Yeah." Yes, we are. You, what's your name? Agnes. Yeah. Come here. Yeah, yeah. See that box there? See that? I Oh no. Oh, I can't get. I don't know Agnes. I don't want to be nosy. Oh no, come on. All you old dears are always a wee bit nosy. Come on, all you old cunt twitchers. Eh? These are all cunt twitchers. Come on, man. Hey, you, I'm not a cotton twitch, I am, yeah, man, go on. Yeah, I'm nosy, I'm nosy, I had a look last night, man. Don't worry about it, man, have a look, man. I'm, alright then. But only because you told me. Aye, alright, aye, right, right. <laughs> That's the excuse you want to hear, aye, nah, you. Mm. Have a look. She opens up the lid. She lifts up the lid like that. Lifts it up. Oh, it's hella heavy. And Craig goes like, here I'll help you. Lifts up the lid and shoves her fucking head in, man. She's like, ah, ah. And she starts to get kind of sucked in. He lifts her body up so she's like vertical. With her legs like that. And she goes. The other, the other folk that are there. The other folk that are there. Oh, I oh, 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 what's going on? And he goes like the shopkeeper. Young man, fucking grab him. You, let's do what needs to be done. And they fucking like whack him a few times and all that. Shove them in. Once the cunts, the arms are in, man. They get fucking sucked in. They do it, man. There's a wee moment where the shopkeeper tried to get Craig in and all. Craig was like, <coughs> Craig just felt that. <coughs> you damn, man. We're a fucking team now, you stupid. We're a team. The shopkeeper goes like, how, how we're a team, what do you mean? Craig goes like, If you can guarantee me, I can come round here, anytime I want, get anything I want, screws, nails, brick a brick, Anytime I want, for fuck all. I'll help, I'll help you. I'll help you. And the shopkeeper goes like, how? And Craig goes like, I'm a serial killer. This whole time, one thing I didn't tell you, Craig, that's a serial killer. The end. Fuzzy Dunlop says needs a sequel. Maybe there'll be a sequel. Maybe there'll be a sequel. Dynamo 8 says that won't be on YouTube. Aye, it will. Hello to everybody on YouTube. How's it going? I hope you like the story. <laughs>